Join me while we thrift and upcycle the goodies we find today. One of the best things to find at a thrift store are frames. They're inexpensive, unique, and I like this one. We're gonna put it in the cart and let's make it over. Let's paint this vintage pink and we're going to take some clay. We're gonna use the birdsong mold and you're gonna squish that clay in there. This has a rim on it, a micro rim, makes this really, really easy. Isn't that cute? I'm using the construction adhesive. That's what I like to use when we're not adding it to a wood product. I'm gonna pop that in there. Now I'm gonna to say to you, let this dry overnight. Once that's dry, I took some of the white swan and painted over the entire bird and the glass. I'm using white wax. I'm gonna squish that all into the nooks and crannies. We're gonna take a paper towel or baby wipe and wipe that back. We're gonna also use some dark wax. Now, before I did the dark wax, I did seal this bird with some liquid patina. That's really important before you do dark wax. That way that allows you to remove the dark wax in areas that you want to. Because I did add the dark wax to the bird, I am gonna take a little bit and add throughout the frame. I'm gonna wipe that back and that will be done. Another item at the thrift store that is plentiful is vintage books. And I love the older, the better. And I am removing the hardcover from this one because I want to expose the binding because I really love the look of it. And, oh, and don't throw out the hardcover because we're going to craft with it in just a few minutes. But I'm taking whatever was left on my paint. This was the vintage pink from the frame that we just did and I just dry brush that on. And then I was like, hey, let's put some birds on this. This is gonna look so cute. So I took the same mold that I just used and I'm using two of the birds this time and we're gonna glue them onto the binding. This is gonna look so cute. I've actually never done this before. I mean, I've done the books before, but I've never glued on molds to an exposed binding. So this is gonna look good going to seal the birds with liquid patina and put a little bit of dark wax and just like the frame put a little bit on and rub it off and now we have a beautiful riser all the products that i'm using today can be found on my website iwanttocraft.com or in the link below this video I actually got this idea from Julie's Design and Signs. I really love when we can inspire each other and put our own spins on it. So I took both covers and I'm hot gluing them together. And we're gonna do something a little different here. I am going to do a chippy crackle finish. So I used that Gorilla Glue. Now normally people use the white glue, but I wanted to be a little different and see what happened if I use this because I want it crackly and chippy. So as you see here, I'm going a little back and forth. The key to this is to have, I believe, DIY paint, because it crackles, and have the glue and have your heat gun. So then I went over again with more white paint. So now we have this beautiful texture. We're going to take this bunny, one of my favorite from the animal farm animal stamp collection. And then I'm going to drill some holes. We're going to put a little bit of dark wax. And I'm going to just tie up some lace and it is done. We still have more thrift flips to go. But if you are enjoying this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. 
And I invite you to watch to the end because I'll give you emoji of the day and some extra footage. I have this very dated frame and I'm going to hot glue the glass right in because we're going to paint this and I don't want it shifting. So I painted it all in white swan and used a mixture of this beige color back and forth, just, just giving it some texture and some depth. Then I painted the whole frame in vintage pink and we're going to put a transfer on this so we need to seal it. So I'm going to use some Big Top. Now your best advice or the best practice is to let this sit as long as you can. A couple of hours, make sure everything's dry. I didn't because I don't mind if it gets chippy. I want this frame to look really super old and it did chip. Okay, so if you don't want it chipping, just make sure you let this sit and follow the instructions completely. I added some brown wax and now we have this gorgeous frame. Can you believe the difference? The before and the after, so gorgeous. I could not believe what I saw. There it was sitting just like that. It was like, oh, you must buy me because that is so my style. Love it and not a chip on it. Also, I got this little lid. I love this place because they do not throw anything out. All right, all I did to this is clean it. That was it. It's so beautiful. And this, I just cleaned it as well. That really needed a good cleaning. And now we have this beautiful vase. Look at this. This is like quintessential cottage core. Let's go thrifting. All right, hair is up, it is hot, let's go. All right, let's go. Ooh, oh yeah. The emoji today is a car. Put the car in the comments below. That lets me know that it was you that watched this video all the way to the end. I appreciate that. And also let me know which thrift flipped or find was your favorite. We'll see you in the next video.